Hello and welcome to part three of my capstone number four, aka my digital footprint. Now, in this video, I will be discussing um, how I was lacking in the popularity department um, and how that sort of led me into a uh, spiral of depression and then finally finding my self worth. Starting back to where my trauma began. <laughs> um, I was sort of an outcast and bullied to an extent um, in uh, late middle school, early high school. I uh, was nicknamed Dora and I got called a whale and I went through a lot of things that I don't think anyone should have to. And unfortunately, that did lead to me suffering from depression. And um, I struggled for years. And I didn't really understand what I was dealing with. Um, I would find different videos on YouTube to sort of make myself cry because I wanted to be upset, but I didn't know how to let it out. And unfortunately, this would lead to, you know, some deeper mental um, issues. <laughs> and I eventually got some help, got on some medication, and uh, got, a, got a therapist. So I am definitely doing a lot better, on a way better path. And uh, it's been quite a journey. <laughs> Now, I tell this sad, sob story, not for pity, but to show that I truly have learned that it's okay to be yourself, <laughs> that it's okay to be unapologetically you, and that you don't need to hide any piece of you, no matter what, and you should be allowed to be who you are, <laughs> despite what other people may say or may think, because the only opinion that matters, at the end of the day, is your own. Now, as I wrap this up, I just want to say that it's okay to be perfect in your own way. And that your internet usage can actually say a lot about who you are and how you'll grow and develop. Because I know if it were for my internet usage, I would not be half the person that I am today. Thank you.